In this video, we are going to discuss a time response to first order control system for an input as unit step. That means here in this time response analysis of first order system, we are going to consider the test signal unit as unit step signal. So, uh, we already discussed about determining the order of the system. So, here we are saying this is a first order system. First order system means, so in the denominator of the transfer function of the system, we need to have the maximum power of S as 1. So, then only we can say that is a first order transfer function. So, the first order transfer function T of S is equal to 1 by 1 plus S tau is the basic transfer function of a first order control system. So, in this transfer function if you observe the maximum value of S power is equal to 1. Here 1 means 1 into S power 0. So, in the denominator polynomial the maximum value of S power is equal to 1 then we can say this is first order system transfer function. This is the first order systems uh, transfer function. So, the relevant diagram, relevant control system for this transfer function is this. If you observe the gain or transfer function of this system, so this is a negative feedback system, here you are having a unit negative feedback. So, then if you apply the formula, so g by 1 plus g h where h is equivalent to 1 here and g is equivalent to 1 by s tau here, you are going to get the same. So, 1 by s tau divided by 1 by 1 plus 1 by s tau into 1. So, you can see here the general negative feedback loop is there. So, the transfer function T of S is equivalent to G by 1 plus G H. This is the formula of transfer function of negative feedback system where G is the open path gain and H is the feedback path gain. So, here feedback path gain is 1 and G is equivalent to 1 by S tau. So, here I am substituting 1 by S tau divided by 1 plus 1 by S tau. I am cross multiplying this S tau and I am cancelling with this both numerator and denominator you are going to get the same. So, like that. So, that is why I consider this as fundamental first order system. So, for this I need to get the time response of this first order system. So, how I will get the time response means by applying a test signal I will get some response. So, some time uh, response. So, for that so I need to consider any test signal. For this I am going to consider unit step signal. You know unit step signal u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0. That means whatever the input of system is there that we need to consider as unit step. That means the input of system is r of t. r of t we need to consider as u of t. u of t is equal to 1 when t greater than or equal to 0. So, now we are having R of S here not R of T. So, that is why I am going to consider R of S from this. R of S is equal to Laplace transform of R of T. So, here R of T I consider like 1. So, Laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 by S. So, everything we need to consider T greater than or equal to 0. In that region only you will get that uh, test signal. So, now I am having R of S in my hand and I am having this T of S. So, with this help I want to get my time response. Time response is nothing but response of the system. Whenever you need to find out the time response of the system that is the meaning is nothing but we need to find out C of T. If you are having any idea of C of S, then that is very easy to find out C of T. Why? Because you can take inverse Laplace transform. So, I am writing this equation, T of S equation. T of S is equal to, so T of S is nothing but transfer function of this system. So, how we will get that C of S by R of S? Transfer function is nothing but C of S by R of S. By the theory of negative feedback loop system, we derived the transfer function as 1 by 1 plus S tau. So, this is equal to 1 by 1 plus S tau. 
just now we find the value for r of s r of s is equivalent to 1 by s i am sending this r of s to this side c of s is equivalent to r of s into 1 by 1 plus s tau so in place of r of s now i can substitute 1 by s because my test signal is unit step signal according to that my transform of that step signal is 1 by s 1 by s into 1 by 1 plus s tau now i am taking common of tau here so what we finally what we require we require c of t we got c of s so when c of s is in your hand to find c of t you need to consider inverse laplace transform but here if you see to apply inverse laplace transform this is not in that easy mode to get the inverse laplace transform easily i am making this in the form to calculate the inverse transform easily so that I am considering 1 by s into I am taking common of tau here. So, 1 by tau plus s I am going to get here. So, this tau I am taking as numerator, the same tau I am uh, taking this in numerator. So, like 1 by tau. So, if I send this tau to inside uh, denominator, we will get the same previous one. So, here I am writing this equation like this 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1 by tau you are getting the same or not you just see here the value of average of this uh, denominator is equivalent to s into s plus 1 by tau you just cross multiply s is going to cancel you are going to get the same thing 1 by s into 1 by tau divided by s plus 1 by tau you are going to get the same if you simplified this now this is in the form of laplace laplace inverse laplace transformable equation so this is c of s so by this if you want c of t you need to consider inverse laplace transform of this 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1 by tau so we know that inverse laplace transform of 1 by s is equivalent to 1 so and here minus 1 by s plus 1 by tau so this is the transform of e power minus e a t u of t so in signals and systems we are having all these transforms so here 1 by s plus 1 by tau so for this the inverse laplace transform is this is in the form of 1 by s plus e a so the inverse laplace transform is e power minus e a t u of t so here e power minus e a t u of t means into 1 only so 1 minus e power minus a t in the place of a i am having 1 by tau so e power so minus 1 by tau t into u of t i am taking 1 for total 1 minus 1 minus e power minus 1 by tau into t so i am taking t greater than or equal to 0 condition so that means so the time response of this system for unit step function is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus 1 by tau into t. The time response of the first order system for the unit step function is they may directly ask like this. In the options you need to choose this 1 minus e power minus 1 by tau into t. The condition is t greater than or equal to 0. Why? Because inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is u of t. But I considered 1 and here this is e power minus e a t into u of t. So that is also I considered 1. So in both cases you are having u of t means you need to consider this signal when t greater than or equivalent to 0. So you need to apply the t values from 0 to plus infinity not to minus infinity. So here you given input as like this the response if you applied if you applied the t values in this equation continuously t equal to 0 t equal to 1 like that if you applied then your response will be like this the response of first order system will be like this this is c of t this is r of t the response of first order system for unit step input is like this and coming to error here you can observe e of s error is nothing but subtraction of this reference input 
with this feedback input. So, you know that so E of S is equal to E of S is equal to you are getting C of C of T here. I am, I am considering in time domain. I am feeling this as E of T. E of T is equal to and here R of T minus C of T. You know R of T is equal to 1 that means we consider unit step signal R of T is equal to 1 minus C of T we got like this that means 1 minus e power minus 1 by tau into t we got like this. So, finally this is equivalent to 1 minus 1 0 and 1. So, here 1 1 is going to cancel and minus of minus plus this is equivalent to 1 by tau into t. So, this is the error we are going to get in this first order system. So, this is also very important point. What is the error in case of first order system when the input is unit step function? Like this we need to calculate the error. Input minus output will get error. Whatever the difference due to that um, due, due to that noise or error is there that difference will calculate like error. So, this is about first order system time response always time domain response or time response of a system is nothing but c of t finally we need to calculate c of t here i am having transfer function and i am having input by that way i send this input to this side and i calculated c of s after getting c of s i got uh, c of t by taking inverse laplace transform on both sides so this is input of first order system this is the response of or time response of first order system for the unit step input.